So the myths, the first myth that people think and they believe that it is true is that the programming is easy and that anybody can do it. All right, and this is what they tell you when they want to sell you books or when they want to sell you uh, subscriptions or whatever. Right, but programming is not easy. All right, and it's not for everybody. All right, this is really important. Maybe you came here and you're gonna realize that it's not for you, and it's a good thing because we had students that were studying before. Right, they came and they were like, "Dude, I have tried many times, but I just can't." So they say like, this is my last attempt. If I don't like it here, fuck programming forever. <laughs> so like, all right, no problem, all right? So maybe it's not for you, all right? But if you are an IT person, if you like computers, and if you like to make shit out of nowhere, then this might be your thing, all right? But it's not gonna be easy. You're gonna have to think, you're gonna get frustrated, you're gonna be like, fuck, I don't understand. You're gonna hate me, you're gonna hate yourself, you're gonna hate your mother, and then, you're gonna be all right, because it will work at the end, all right? All right, the other one is programming is fun. And this is hilarious to me because people think that you get your, you have fun when you program. Like, I know, I work on JSpace, which is like, it's in the city, all right? And it's a working space. And I go there and everybody goes there and they all program and nobody's like, ha <laughs> fun, this is awesome. No, nobody, all right? They don't have fun, all right? It's not fun, it's a job. You go there, you do your shit, you finish, but the result is fun. All right? So programming is not fun, but it is really worth it, okay? What you have at the end, you're like, wow, I did this shit. It's, it looks good, it looks nice, it was worth it, all right? The other one they think is that they have to master the language, like, I have to be the best at this, I have to master so I can start working with it, right? And what I say to this is, no, you don't need to master the language. You have to learn the basics which is what we're gonna do here in these days. You're gonna learn the basics, and then these basics will tell you to get a big one as long as you need to, all right? You don't have to learn this to use this, all right? We're gonna learn while doing. So we're not gonna learn anything that we're not gonna practice, all right? The other one they say is that they have to memorize everything. Like people actually, and because you're Korean, you study hardcore, right? So you guys want to memorize and be really good at it. In Colombia, we don't give a shit. We just copy, right? But here you guys are like, memorize, memorize, memorize. You don't have to do this in programming, all right? You, in programming, you just have to understand how shit works. And when you understand how shit works, then you're like, okay, fuck, I, I know this works this way, let's Google it. And there's the answer there, all right? So you don't have to memorize the term or like the word or that. You just have to learn how it works, some couple of stupid rules, and you're good, all right? So no pressure here, you don't have to come like, oh. All right, and the other one is, I have to be the best to be able to travel the world by program, all right? I've met many people that they're still studying, they never stop studying, they never take the leap, they never buy the plane ticket and say, fuck it. Some people know just HTML, and they say, fuck it, let's go. The rest I will learn. Right? This is what I want to show you guys, because I, I did this, alright? <clears throat> I wasn't the best, and I'm still not the best, but fuck being the best, I don't care about being the best. But you don't have to be like, holy shit, I built Facebook to be able to go and, pro and program and travel, alright? It's not necessary. Fuck being the best, yep. Just get a couple of clients, this is what I say, get a couple of clients, talk to your aunt, she needs a website, and then you talk to your, talk to your boyfriend, and he needs a website, and then there are your clients. You just buy the ticket, you go, done. You're a freelancer. All right. Now, any questions here? Awesome.